Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. I hope you're doing great. Today I'm having a great day and I am testing out this ABY pedal from Donner. Check it out. An often overlooked pedal when it comes to putting together a, a system for your guitars playing live especially is the ABY pedal. You might be asking yourself, what is an ABY pedal and why would I need it on my pedal board? An ABY pedal does uh, a few different things and I'll try to, to explain it really succinctly and I'll give you an, an idea uh, playing through a couple guitars what it will do. Sometimes uh, scenario one, and this is probably where I'm going to say this is the most common scenario, is that you have a, a guitar, you're playing through your pedal board or whatever, you like your tone, but you want to use two different amps, okay? So you want to, to, to be able to quickly say, you know what, I'm playing into this amp, but then I want to play into this amp. So that's kind of how I have this, this set up right here. Um, and I'll show you, it's got two different sides to this, but on the green side, it's going the A and B. So I have my guitar plugged into this right here, going into the Y, but then on the uh, one of my amps, the B is going to this uh, Bugera, what is that? The Vintage 5 amp. And then the A channel is going over here to the Fender Bass Breaker. And so what this would be is like, maybe I have the Bugera set to kind of more of a rhythm tone, but then I wanted to switch into a lead tone. I go over to the, the Fender. So let me just show you what that would be like right now. Let me turn these guys on a little bit. All right, so like right now, I'm gonna push the button here. So right now, I'm that is the Fender right there. But when I hit this, it's gonna go over to the Bugera. Okay, so if I had the Bugera set, it's kind of like a, a, a rhythm uh, tone. Then I wanted to go into more of a lead line. So it just kind of gives you uh, a couple different options on that where you're not just stuck with the AB channel on an amp. Like this amp doesn't even have an AB channel. So, you know, if you're playing through two different amps, that's kind of a really cool option to have. Another thing that it does, and this is really where I, I the second thing is what I, I find the most fun to play with and that is to stereo an amp so in other words like I have like on this here if I switch this switch to the a b y setting it's actually going to stereo to both of these amps okay so now when I'm playing it's coming out through both speakers <laughs> And that is a really cool uh, thing that it's doing. A couple things about this pedal that I've noticed is when you're switching back and forth, there's not a popping that sounds, um, I've had an AB switch that I built years ago. And when I switched, there was a slight pop in it when I was switching to the different channels, but it's pretty neat. I mean, I'm able to, I'm on the Fender, Bugera, Fender, go back and forth. It's a really, really neat uh, way to do that. The other way to do it um, is to use it as basically switching this completely around. So let's just say that I'm only playing into the Fender. So let me do that real quick. I'm gonna unplug the B here. So now I've got, this is my guitar, and then this is my uh, the Fender. I'm gonna put the Fender over here. The Fender amp, I should say. And then I'm gonna plug this over here and so now I'm still playing right here with the A but when I go over to B I have no no signal so this could actually be used as a mute switch but what's even more fun is if you have uh, two guitars let me get this guy here 
And then now, when I plug this into B, I've got the Telecaster plugged into B. Wait. Yeah, wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I'm able to have these two guitars. So if I'm playing and maybe on song one, I like the Telecaster. <laughs> switch over to the Fender or the uh, the uh, Stratocaster I just hit the button and the Telecaster is muted and then I got the uh, the Stratocaster it's really kind of neat for me um, this is going to come in handy when it comes to playing live with my acoustic setup because I have a acoustic guitar that um, you know, if, if I break a string, all I have to do, what I've done in the past is, you know, like I'll mute my guitar with my tuner, I'll unplug it, put the new guitar on top, plug it back in, unmute the guitar and the tuner. With this kind of setup, this scenario, you break a string on a guitar, then all you have to do is put your guitar down, pick up your other guitar, hit this pedal, and it's going to switch to your new guitar pretty neat um you know i picked this up on amazon this is not that much money i think that like 30 bucks or something around those lines i don't remember exactly but uh, i've played a couple different aby pedals i don't see why you would not want to use this pedal other thing you can do with this is if you had uh two signals that you wanted to run so you wanted to have one of those signals dry out before it hits the distortion you could do that which is kind of neat, you know, so you can kind of split your signal um, in, in those those kind of ways, which sometimes is nice. Some, if you're in certain recording situations, it's nice to be able to have two different signals. Um, also, uh, it, you know, sometimes it's nice to even have, uh, you know, two different signal paths. So you could have, this would be kind of a cool thing here is if you, maybe you sent, you know, your distorted signal to an amp that does distortion really well, but then you had your, other uh, signal sent to another amp that's going to have more of the clean tone, but it's played at the same time. You could stereo that and have a really cool effect happening. So anyway, uh, not a super long video, but I think the, these ABY pedals are awesome, and I'm really glad that that Donner Donner makes some really good pedals. I've I've reviewed a bunch of Donner pedals, um, and I haven't had any problems with them. You know, for the price point, they're they're really unbeatable. The the footprint that this is this takes up is what I really really like. It's just not a big pedal, uh, which for whatever reason I don't understand why some manufacturers make these like these like big ABY pedals. I've actually built one before, and there's not that much going on uh, in the electronics. But uh, like I said, I like the fact that this one is super clean. That when it's going back and forth, it's not getting a pop signal going. So anyway. Thanks so much for watching this. Um, if this sounds like something you'd want to do, pick up one of these ABY boxes from Donner. Thanks for watching. Kenneth Russell out, and I'll see you in another video.